Today on Studying the Biblical Languages, we're going to talk about how we can use podcasts to stay sharp in the summer. Shalom, I'm Doug, recording on this hot, muggy June day in 2024 in the southeastern USA, and I want to encourage you in the study of the biblical languages, Hebrew, Aramaic, and Greek, and I want to encourage you to make good use of your summer break. If you're on summer break like I am, or if you're in another part of the world on winter break, whatever it may be, uh, and any time of year, really, this is a resource that we can use to continue our education, whether we are formally still in school or not. If you're like me, I want to be a lifelong learner and podcasts, uh, that's one way I can uh, both produce and also consume content that's going to help me to grow. So I'm going to recommend several options for you today. Uh, some of them will cover one of the biblical languages, some will cover more than one. And uh, I do have to give a caveat that you do need to be discerning. There's a lot of content out there, a lot of content creators out there, and certainly uh, this is an endorsement of every guest or every person or every idea or uh, institution or so forth that might be represented uh, by every uh, podcast episode out there, but that's not the point. These are things that will help us to learn. So do be discerning. Uh, check out whomever you're letting influence you about the biblical languages. Make sure they're not a conspiracy uh, theorist or that they're you know not just advancing ignorance. You've got to be very careful there. You know, try to make sure, you know, are they giving you sound teaching and so forth. But that being said, there's a lot of good stuff out there. And I think you can find a lot of treasures in what I'm about to share today. The first is Glossa House TV. Glossa House is an organization that seeks to provide language resources for the global community. And they have a lot of great resources for the biblical languages. I've benefited a lot from their print and audiovisual media and especially from their podcasts. Uh, Glossa House TV, I think is what they're calling it now, Proof Text. Uh, you'll see that on their YouTube channel. There's a lot of playlists of the different people they have in their network of podcasters of um, different shows, different uh, programs that they have going on there. Now, it includes more than the biblical languages. You can, can read things about uh, classical literature and so forth on there as well, but they've got lots of material about Greek and about Hebrew. Uh, Dr. Fred Long, Dr. Michael Holcomb head up Glossa House, and they themselves are biblical scholars. And uh, Dr. Jennifer Noonan, uh, who has been featured on this program before, uh, she has her SLA Insights as part of that. There's a playlist where you can see all of her programs on applying second language acquisition uh, theory and practice to the study of the biblical languages. Great, uh, great series. But there are others on there as well that you can check out. Lots of things going on with the biblical languages uh, at Glossa House. And also Dr. Michael Holcomb contacted me recently about uh, going on as well and having studying the biblical languages be part of that network. So you can see these videos over there at Proof Text as well. So check them out, subscribe and uh, learn the biblical languages along with what they're teaching there. Now, if you're specifically into Hebrew Bible, you want to check out Hebrew Bible Insights with Matthew Delaney and Dr. Nathan French. This program has original content at times from either or both of the hosts, and we've got biblical scholars here as well, and they also interview other biblical scholars. And so you can find some names that you may recognize from your study of the Hebrew Bible. There'll be some, some new names as well. I spoke with them uh, recently, and I found their program to be very enlightening. They have guests that will go into a lot of detail from different angles for the study of biblical Hebrew. And so you need to check out Hebrew Bible Insights. Another one related to Hebrew, you might check out the podcast for Olive with Beth. Now, I've recommended this many times, that this is a great resource, a great free resource for learning biblical Hebrew. And they've got their free Hebrew.online site, and you can check out their YouTube channel and so forth. But this podcast they have is just the audio of their YouTube videos. So it's a great way to practice on the go, hear simple biblical stories, uh, biblical Hebrew stories read to just go back and practice. If you've watched a video, it's, it's a great way to supplement your learning. Now, if you're looking for something with Greek, check out Fletcher Hardison's podcast called Greeking Out. Uh, Fletcher shares some of his own thoughts at times and also interviews guests who have expertise in the study of Greek. And he will get with, with biblical Greek. There will be bigger picture uh, aspects of classical uh, Greek as well. But you'll definitely want to check out uh, what he's doing and the way he thinks about learning language. And another one with Greek, just like we had 
Olive with Beth. We've got Alpha with Angela, freegreek.online. Uh, you can check out the YouTube channel, and you've got the communicative approach to learning biblical Greek, but you've also got this podcast with Alpha with Angela that repeats the audio from those YouTube videos so you can review, and so you can uh, go back over and take that on the go with you. Uh, another option I want to tell you about is the Biblical Languages podcast by Biblingo. Now, Biblingo is an excellent biblical language learning tool uh, produced by Dr. Kevin Grasso and Nick Mesmer as, as they head that up. And they've, they've helped to put together some great resources, uh, electronic resources where you can use a smartphone, you can use a computer. Um, some schools are starting to use this as part of their curriculum. Uh, you can use it as an independent learner as well. And you can go through the basics of biblical Hebrew and biblical Greek and go on up into a higher level as well. And they also offer some live classes and so forth as well. But this is their podcast. And this podcast gives you a lot of deep dives into different topics in the biblical languages. And also one of the great things about this podcast, it's, it's not the only one that does this, but th it has a special interest in the application of linguistic theory to the study of the biblical languages. So sometimes the topics will be uh, pretty heavy. Uh, they'll be pretty detailed and pretty scholarly. But if you're looking for a deep dive into those sorts of things, maybe you're doing some heavy academic research, this is a great resource for you to check out the Biblical Languages podcast by Biblingo. You may also want to check out Exegetically Speaking. This is a podcast uh, produced uh, with the friends and faculty of Wheaton College and the Lanier Theological Library. It's hosted by Dr. David Capes, and they have a lot of guests, a lot of uh, well-known biblical scholars will appear on this program. And one thing about this podcast versus some of the others, this one tends to be on the shorter side. So if you have a commute that you want to listen to an entire podcast on, this is a great option for you because these programs are often around 10, 11, 12 minutes, something like that. Some of the other podcasts are good. I listen to long podcasts at times and I'll, you know, I'll break it up over a commute sometimes, but it may take me a couple of days to listen to the one hour interviews. But exegetically speaking, you can get one on the way to work and one on the way back if you've got a short commute or a short jog or something like that. And it's a very valuable conversational uh, format and it just, just a quick nugget uh, or two at times, but definitely whets your appetite and leaves you uh, with a desire to learn more about the topic at hand. The last one I want to mention today is the Working for the Word podcast with Andrew Case. Andrew Case, uh, you may know his face if you have watched Olive with Beth videos. He is Avram in those videos that uh, he and his wife Bethany Case produce. And he has some interviews with different uh, missionaries, uh, Bible translators, and scholars who are working on projects that are, are relevant for Bible translation. And he also gets um, gets pretty detailed at times into the behind the scenes of uh, organizations and their workings and sometimes the, the politics and so forth. So you've got that angle as well. But he gets into these these technical topics related to the study of the biblical languages and to Bible translation. So all of these options I mentioned are relevant for your study of the biblical languages. Some of you may be interested in one of them more than the other, and that's fine. Just wanted to throw some things out there that if you're a beginner, you're intermediate, you're an advanced learner, you just want to be a lifelong learner, maybe you've already completed your doctoral degree, you know, you just want to keep going and see what's going on out there. These podcasts are a great place to go. And once again, they were the Proof Text series by Glossa House, the Hebrew Bible Insights podcast, Olive with Beth, Reeking Out, Alpha with Angela, Biblingo's Biblical Languages podcast, and Exegetically Speaking and Working for the Word. I will have a link uh, so you can access those somewhere in the description for this video. Thanks for checking out Studying the Biblical Languages. Until next time, Shalom. Shalom.